Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to give you a quick guide on how to trade with your friends, which by extension allows you to get two of the same weapon if, of course, you have a generous friend. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already made use of this functionality. However, when I've done videos like the dual Godskin Peeler build or the Bleed build video where I mentioned that, of course, Paradise gifted me the white mask, some people in the comments and some people on Twitter were just like, hold on a minute, you can trade? Wait, what? So apparently it isn't necessarily something that everyone is aware of. So therein lies the reason behind this guide. So if you guys do enjoy this video, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring content. So, to begin with, of course, naturally you are going to need a friend to trade with, who is of course very willing to give you one of their spare weapons. It might well be their spec for a completely different build, and therefore they don't need it. And you will then need to go and get into a multiplayer session with them. So, of course, if you are the host, you will need to use the Fur Calling Finger Remedy. And of course, if they are the one joining you, they will then need to use the item you see below, which is the Tarnished Furled Finger. They will then put down their sign. You will then be able to see that in your game world. Of course, don't forget you will need to be in the same location. And then when you see the symbol on the floor, you interact with it and you can invite them. Then from there, when they've joined your world, first things first, as a quick PSA, do keep in mind once you've invited your friend, you can be invaded. I would highly recommend maybe waiting around a few minutes first because if something is dropped on the floor and you get invaded and you get killed or they run past, they can steal your items. So maybe think sensibly about doing that or just trade incredibly quickly. Either way, if you are in a situation where you are lucky enough to have a friend that is trading a very important item to you, the last thing you want is to have it swept. Anyway, that aside, when you are in a world together, you then go into your menu and you can then select items like weapons, other things like that, and you then want to choose the option called leave. A little bit counterintuitive, it's not called like trade or gift. You simply press leave because in doing so, that will then drop it on the floor, your friend will then be able to see it, and they will then be able to go over and pick it up. Now, there are a few things you need to know about player trading. First things first, players can drop up to a total of eight items on the floor. If you drop a ninth item, the first item will despawn and so on. Now, of course, you're probably not gonna be in a position where someone's gifting you that many back to back, but do still keep it in mind. You need to make sure that you pick up the items before, of course, the ninth one causes the first one to despawn. In addition to this, when trading weapons, it's worth noting you can only trade a weapon if you have a weapon of that level or below. So for example, your friend could not go and give you a plus 25 weapon at the beginning of the game if you do not have a weapon that is plus 25 in your inventory. For example, the other day I traded a shield with 269 and I dropped it at plus 24 because I didn't have the ancient dragon smithing stone. And then when 269 upgraded it to plus 25, he was not able to trade it back to me because when he drops on the floor, I simply cannot see it. So keep in mind, you can only trade items that are equivalent to what you currently have in your inventory. In addition to this, you can also trade armor, you can trade runes, things like the golden runes, the Newmans and the Lord's runes. So of course, it means to basically pass over some runes. You can trade non-quest items, things like grease, other sort of buffing items, some of the boluses, that kind of stuff. You can trade quite a lot of items. What can you not trade? Things like quest items. Obviously, you can't be going and giving medallions that of course give you access to portions of the game. You can't go and trade things like great runes or any like big noteworthy items. Anything sort of quest related, anything like that, you cannot trade. But largely speaking, if you're using this functionality, you are probably gonna be using it to either trade trade weapons, armor pieces, or maybe some runes. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. Quick little guide on how trading works in this game, some of the limitations and some things to look out for. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. If you missed our recent Elden Ring coverage, make sure you check out this video and be sure to keep it locked on the channel for plenty more.